Hello YouTube, this is Cesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to start getting our feet wet in, in with uh, displaying images in both Python and C++. And I'm going to show you an easier way to, to get started. I mean, as we progress in this series of tutorials, we'll get into more complicated uh, uh, functions. But for now, I'm going to show you some, uh, something that is uh, very simple. And is is the CMake? We're going to be using CMake at, at the beginning. And in order to do that, the first thing we got to do is uh, we're going to SSH into our Raspberry Pi using the capital X for an interactive uh, graphical user interface. And then we're going to go Pi the IP address and password. And now we're inside and once we're inside we're going to make a folder uh, for this tutorial called the uh, display image so make directory display image and that's going to be our directory I'm gonna change into the directory now that we just created and now I'm inside once inside uh, we got to create a CMake list file. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with, with CMake or how how comfortable you are. I'm going to walk you through this one. You can always go to the, the website cmake.org and they have a, a lot of great tutorials. CMake.org right here. And uh, they have a, a lot of great tutorials. It's, it's, this is very important uh, in, in, C, in C and Linux uh, compiling. So it's, it's, it will be a good idea if, you, if you're not familiar already to get familiar with it, get familiarized with it. So I'm going to be using a template that will be, it's a very simple template. They get more complicated as we advance, but for now this would do is this very basic uh, CMake list text template. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is copy and paste this. And I'm going to go inside that uh, folder that we just created. And I'm going to create a, a, a file called display image. CPP. Oops, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. I messed up. That's not the one. I, uh, well, I need that one also, so we'll just keep that one for later. Uh, actually, didn't save. Okay, so, hey, it's, that's not the one. It's nano. I went uh, one step further. <laughs> uh, nano C make loose. text and then this is the one and then we're gonna paste what we copied and let me explain a little bit what this is this is sick uh, make minimum required version 2.8 the project which is will be display image is the name of our project the package we will be using OpenCV the executable uh, is or executable is gonna be the display image based on the display image CPP that that's the one that I started to create but now we we're going to, I'm going to show you what that looks like and the libraries that we'll be using will be based on display image coming from the libraries from OpenCV libraries that we compile in, in uh, our first tutorial okay so we're going to save this Yes, yes, ls. And now we're going to make that other one that I started making. We go copy, paste, enter. And this is the file that we're going to be using. It's going, I, I created this here. Uh, see this one right here. And we're going to be creating. Q 
keeps going opening with the Qt creator. I don't want any Qt, I want the uh, regular. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll go copy this. We could we could have always sent it with the files Scylla, but I just wanted to do it the long way the first time around so you'll see it how it's done. And we're gonna enter paste it here, copy and paste. There it is. It's just a, a regular um, CPP C++ files. Um, as you can see, the I/O input output. The libraries, OpenCV, the high GUI, is using namespace, a standard, and, and, and the computer CV, computer vision. And as you can see, it's just regular C++. Uh, the C out, this is the equivalent of printf, the printf function. And offline here, just in case you, you need to refresh your memory on C and C++. And it's basically this is just like the Python code that, that we've done in other tutorials. And uh, you can always go to the OpenCV library here in the tutorial section if you have any questions. And introduction to OpenCV. And they have a lot of great tutorials here so you can see where they came from, okay? I'm using this one right here. I'm using that picture and everything. I'm doing it a little bit different, but uh, basically the same thing. Okay. So that's where it came from. So we're going to save this. Control X. Yes. And now we're going to see what we have. We have the CMake list text and we have the display image uh, C file. Now we're going to do the CMake to start compiling uh, the compilation process. So it's CMake and in this directory it's going to look for the compilers and as you can see this is the easiest way to do it at the very beginning so until you you know once for you to get used to it and if we check now, as you can see, it created the CMake cache text file, this one, the CMake files directory. This is what we started with. This is also what we started with. It created a make file and the CMake install CMake, ready for the make that comes now. So we'll do the make. Now we're linking. We will be uh, the object files and the linker. And it's looking for the linker. And it's linking the executable. And there it is. So we can see now, check now. And this is the executable that it just created. Okay. Now we have to um, uh, download the image because it's going to taking image. So now we'll use uh, Falsilla to just uh, remind you how to do it using uh, Falsilla. And we're going to do 192, 133. I don't want to have it have a, I don't want to have to download it using the, because it'll take longer. So I'll just do it this way. Uh, why, why am I doing this? I already have it here. And then this is like the last tutorial. That's why I'm doing it that way. So to, just to refresh your memory. And I'm going to look for the for the document. I have it on my desktop. And it's the Raspberry Pi. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, and there it is. I'm gonna right click to upload. It uploaded. I don't know if I uploaded where I wanted it. I didn't do it, I forgot to do it, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get it to here. We'll find where it is. 
let's check if it came no it didn't come to this one so let's see where it, where where it came uh, it's right there so we're going to move it we're going to move it from this directory move it happy face jpeg and we're going to move it to the uh, where is it display image folder display image folder okay uh, what happened here do, 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 fish to the oh sorry I know what I did wrong I forgot the period and there it goes and then if we check the there it is it came here okay and now what we're going to do is uh, run it and make sure it works so we're going to execute display image and then happy fish hit enter and there it goes okay this is using C++ uh, now we're, what we're going to be doing is doing the same thing but using uh, Python for you to um, to get an idea of how to do it using Python and I'm going to go back to my desktop and let's just make this smaller here it's smaller I don't need this any actually I do need it Let me I'm going to be taking this and sending it to my file Okay, so it's right by tutorials, display image by. So we're doing this one now. So we're going to get this one, and this is the one right here. I think this is the one. Let's view it. Uh, open. I, no, that is the one. So just right click, upload. Oops send it to pi let's, I don't want to make the same mistake that I did last time so let's find, make sure that that we find it let's reconnect to make sure we're doing it right so go into pi and find the folder is called display image and here it is and now we're gonna right click on it upload and if we go here we check ls here it is it came in okay so now we're gonna run it python display image pi and happy fish do I need to do happy fish I'm, I don't remember let's find out no it's already done there and there it is same thing so I show you how to do it with C++ using CMake and I also show you how to use it uh, using uh, uh, Python okay but um, if this is the, one of the beginning tutorials to get your feet wet and, and so you know the file transfers that we did in the last tutorial and also how I start getting uh, comfortable using the CMake and the OpenCV libraries and, and later on we'll use an IDE but for now I want you to see um, more or less um, deeper in, into how it works uh, in in the Linux and C and C plus plus world. 
okay but this is the end of the tutorial and like I always say if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial thank you for watching